Hello everybody, this is Nick193, and I will be showing you a quick fix for a bug that I've been asked to look into, and I decided I'd do a video on it. Now, um, it is a glitch with this dragon, Odevig. If you're wondering why he looks different, it's because I have a mod that changes that, but that has no effect on the bug. So, this will work perfectly for you if you do it correctly. If you were to go here, and if this bug has happened to you, if you either ask the guard to open the trap or open it yourself, um, the Jarl and Irleth become instantly hostile and go on about attacking the dragon, making it impossible. Even if I were to kill everybody with commands, and you would be unable to continue your quest. But because that's not what I'm doing here today, I'm going to quick load and show you this easy fix. Easy, easy, easy. Now, if you are on an Xbox, this will not work, so leave now. I'm sorry, I can't help you. But if you are on a PC, well, you're in luck. Now, this will be using the console, so you can go up to any guard and select him. To do this, you just click on him. Couldn't be easier. You'll type D I S A B L E disable. Uh, normally, this is really bad. Do not do this often, as it will completely ruin your game if you disable the wrong characters. This is if you want to either kill characters that are essential, as this guy is essential since he's required for my quest. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that means if I were to take his health down to zero, he would not die. He would just heal, and he would continue to fight me. But in this case, I'm going to disable him. And there is another guard. He could be anywhere along here. If you can't find him, just walk over there, make sure you can see him. There is always a second guard. So right there, that's not selecting him. And the reason is, the dragon's mesh is huge. It covers a huge space. So you're going to need to type TCL. And what that does is that turns collision off, meaning you'll be able to fly. Um, when you turn this on, if, if there were a dragon flying around anywhere, then it would, its animations would not work. So don't use this unless you're trying to get somewhere or you're doing something like what we're doing, fixing a bug. And fly over here click on him and kill him, because he's mean. We don't like him. He tries to hurt the dragon. Um, so, to fix the glitch, you need to find Irleth, run up to her, and real quick, just to make sure you aren't selecting the dragon, click on the dragon. See that number? Now click on Irleth and make sure it changes. Your number might be different from mine. It changes. And you need to make sure that you have her selected. If you don't, it may not even work. So fly up here, use the chain, and then quickly press the console button again. And you're going to type in this simple command, setAv. Now, what setAv does is it changes a variable in the NPC selected, in this case, Erleth. And I'm going to make her not hate the dragon anymore. To do that, I'm going to change her aggression level. Now, the aggression level um, is what her need or want, just her passing to attack, as you pretty much already knew. But it's a bit different in this case, as she wants to attack the dragon, but the dragon is not aggressive, and as long as the dragon is not aggressive, then she's just broken, and that's where the glitch comes about. So I'm going to set it to 1, and then all we've done is alter her AI, but she hasn't been altered yet, because she is still running off the previous AI that she had when I loaded the scene, so I'm going to type reset AI, and when you enter that in, 
if I were to let go right now, she would sheath her sword. But I'm not going to, because they're still aggressive creatures. So I'm going to do the same. You can either type it in, or you can do as I'm doing. Press up, double tap up on the arrow keys. Enter that. Double tap up. And then quickly, face the arrow. Use the same command. And now... Oh right, yeah, you see his animation is broken. That is because I have not disabled TS TCL. Um, make sure you don't have anything selected to do this. You can just double click anything. And then press it. And now you can continue the quest as normal. If I were to walk over here, I could talk to him. It's a bit glitchy. But if I were to click that selection, he would fly me to up and beyond to another world. Uh, thank you for watching. If this helped you, please leave a like and send me any more bugs that you need help fixing. Thank you and goodbye.